The kingdom of God operates under the sovereign power and authority of God Almighty, and everything in that kingdom happens exactly according to the will of God. Many of us humans have been called to become children of God and to become part of that kingdom of God where everything happens according to the will of God. But very few are willing to heed the call and to submit themselves to the authority of God. The only way to get into that kingdom is through obedience to Jesus Christ. Jesus is the door. He is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. And He has called many he is calling many to follow Him, to obey Him, and to submit themselves to the authority of the kingdom of God. Jesus gives salvation, eternal life, to those who obey Him, who submit to His authority. His authority comes from God the Father. God the Father has given all authority in heaven and on earth to Jesus Christ. And He reigns. Those whom He has called, very few of them are willing to submit themselves to Jesus, to listen to Him and to be ruled by Him. Jesus has sent His Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth, to guide us into His will. We cannot serve God according to our own mind or our own liking. The only way that we can satisfy and please God is when we obey the Holy Spirit of God and we do exactly what He directs us to do. Very few are willing to submit to the Holy Spirit of God. Churches are not under the submission of the Holy Spirit. They are not under the direction of the Holy Spirit of God. They are busy with their own little kingdoms on this earth. And people follow after churches instead of following the direction of the Holy Spirit. Jesus has called many into his kingdom and then they have placed themselves in the service of the church. They never came to the point where they listened to the Holy Spirit of God. Paul wrote in Romans 8 verse 30, 14, he said, those who are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. The only way that we can serve Jesus in His kingdom is if we submit ourselves to the Holy Spirit right now. If we abandon all else, we repent from serving ourselves and of loving the world, and we place ourselves under submission of Jesus Christ. We seek to follow Him and we listen to the guidance of the Holy Spirit. You cannot serve God where and how you want to. His kingdom operates under His reign. You need to submit yourself to the Holy Spirit. He will not force you to obey Him. But dear friend, if you want to become part of the kingdom of God, you must willfully submit yourself to Jesus and follow Him. 
If you do not have the Spirit of Christ, you do not belong to Him. You might belong to a church. You might believe you are saved. But if you do not listen to the Holy Spirit, and if you do not seek the guidance of the Holy Spirit, you cannot be pleasing to God. Those who are in the flesh cannot please God. When you follow your own mind, you cannot be doing the works that God has prepared for you to do. He has called you for a precise and specific purpose. The only way that you can fulfill that purpose is through becoming absolutely obedient. Listening to the Holy Spirit, and you do that through prayer, through seeking Him on your knees, through putting your focus on Him, and seeking Him with all your heart, with all your mind. Your mind must be on Christ. Dear friend, will you hearken to the call? Will you submit to Jesus? Will you follow the guidance of the Holy Spirit? Or will you follow your own mind? Will you follow people? Are you willing to hearken to the call and become part of the kingdom of God? Will you submit to Jesus Christ as Lord? Or are you not interested in becoming part of the kingdom of God? Dear friend, if you are willing to hearken to the call, you must seek Jesus. Get serious about Jesus. Pray and seek Him until you know His voice and follow His voice. Seek His Spirit always, every day of your life and follow Him. Seek His will and do His will. He says, draw closer to me and I will draw closer to you. He's called you for a purpose. The only way that you will fulfill that purpose is if you submit to Jesus Christ. Deny yourself. Pick up your cross and follow Him every day. May Jesus bless you.